Every object has a set of properties, including properties specific to its geometry and more general properties. General properties include color, line type, and line weight, and these are typically set by layer so that the object inherits the properties of the layer which it is on. In this lesson, you will learn how to override general properties with specific colors, line types, and or line weights. You'll also learn how to restore overridden properties back to their default by layer state. In addition, you will learn how to change objects layer assignments using both properties and the layer drop-down menu. Go ahead and open the house2 project file. Some of the objects are on the wrong layers, and if you're really observant, you might notice which objects these are by color. Notice that this switch right here is yellow, whereas all the other switches are cyan. I'll click on a cyan switch. Right here it tells me the layer that that object is on. It's on E power. This is called the layer drop-down menu. I'll press escape to deselect. When no command is being used and nothing is selected, you'll see the current layer listed in the drop-down. You can also use the drop-down to change the layer assignment of objects. So for example, I'm going to zoom in here and select these two objects, and it says they're on layer E lighting. I'm going to open the drop-down and then click on the word E power to change the layer assignment of these two objects. I'll press escape. You can alternatively do this using quick properties. Toggle that on on the status bar. Select these two objects. And then the only property that these two objects have in common is the layer property. So click on E lighting, open this drop down, and then choose E power. Press Escape to deselect. You can also change object properties using the Properties palette. I will select these two objects, turn off Quick Properties, right click, and choose Properties from the Context menu. Then over here, I can access the general properties. I'll change the layer assignment from E Lighting to E Power. Then I'll press Escape to deselect. There's another two objects down here which are on the wrong layer also. These two things are lights, and they should be on the E Lighting layer rather than the E Power layer. I'll make an encompassing window around them to select the objects, and then I'll go up here to the layer drop down and choose E Lighting. Now they're yellow like the other light objects. Press Escape to deselect. Let's pan up here. Suppose you want to change the line type of these headers. Select these objects by making a crossing window, and go up here to the Properties panel. This is the line type drop-down right here. I'll open it and select Phantom 2, and then press Escape. I've succeeded in changing the line type property for those two objects. It overrides their default property, which was set to by layer. Let's try this again. I'll select these two header objects, and this time look in the properties palette. Line type is currently set to by layer. I'll change that to phantom, and then press escape. If you want to change the line type of all the headers, a much more efficient approach is simply to change the layer line type property, and you do that in the Layer Properties Manager. Click here to open it. Go to All Layers, locate the A Header layer, here it is, and then scroll over until you can find the Line Type column. Click Continuous, and let's say we want to change that to Hidden. OK. I'll close this. And notice over here, these headers show the hidden line type rather than the phantom line type. And if I scroll out, there are some other headers over here that also show the hidden line type. The reason they're showing that is because their line type properties are set to by layer. 
And you can verify that just by selecting a few of these objects. And you'll see that it says line type by layer. Now over here, for these objects, these have been overridden so that their object properties say phantom. You see, the object properties really have the last word in AutoCAD. They're calculated last. So if you want to override a layer assignment, you can do so for specific objects. However, it's more efficient to control properties using layers. If I want these objects to show whatever line type the layer has, I can select them, go over here, and change this property to read by layer. Press Escape, and indeed they show up with the hidden line type. The Properties panel up here performs essentially two different functions. To demonstrate this, I'm going to change the color to red. Then I'll go ahead and select the A header layer. And then I'll draw a line. This line appears red, all right, but it also has the hidden line type because it's on the A header layer, but its color was specifically overridden to be red. And you can see that by selecting the object, it says color red instead of color by layer. So you really have to be careful with the properties panel. The default mode should really be by layer for all three properties. I'm going to set this back to by layer. And then I'll draw another line. As you might expect, this is going to be green because it inherits the color property by layer. Another way you can use the properties panel is to specifically change selected objects. So I'm going to click these two objects and it shows me what they have in common for color, which is nothing. I'll open this and select Cyan. Now I've overridden the color of these two objects, and it's essentially changed their color property on both lines. I'll press Escape, and this says By Layer again. This is the creation property, By Layer. You can use the Properties panel in two ways. The first way is by changing the creation properties, and that overrides all the objects that you subsequently create. And the other way is to use these drop down menus to change specific object properties of selected objects. So, to summarize, you have learned how to change object properties, you understand now what by layer means, and you know how to change layer assignments using the layer drop down.